Wow. Have a pizza dough party and make pizza dough all day long. Hot. Oh, hot. Boys and girls, the day has finally arrived. I can now legally do what might just be the most dangerous thing a human being can do in the United States of America. Huh? What? Sign my life away and get sent across the world to kill people? What? No. No, I could do that three years ago. I'm talking about renting a hotel, baby. That's right, boys and girls. Today, I am 21 years old, and you know what? I'm gonna say it. Happy birthday to me. And I figured, what better way to celebrate this occasion than visit our favorite YouTube chef. That's right, a man who needs no introduction, but I'm still gonna introduce him anyways, Jack Scalfani of the Cooking with Jack show. Now, I haven't seen a whole lot from Jack recently, but I have a video that a lot of you guys have been sending me over the last few months, and I figured I'd finally take a look. Cast Iron Pizza. Now look, I'm fully going off the word of you guys right now because I have not watched this video yet, I'm going in blind, but I've had it sent to me so many times that I've got to imagine it's pretty bad. But if it's not bad, I just want you guys to know the people who did send me this that you have ruined my birthday okay just just want to put that out there let's begin please subscribe hey guys okay so we're doing cast iron pizza this looks simple but i'm sure i'll find a way to screw it up you know what jack i'm glad you're starting to realize that this is a safe space and that you can be honest here went to my bakery and grabbed a ball of pizza dough it's a lot easier than making it myself you want to make it yourself have a party have a pizza dough party and make pizza dough all day long me personally, I don't have time. I got videos to film. Jack, as a fellow YouTuber, I totally understand being busy and having to make videos and not being able to do other things, but, um, you know, call me crazy, but I feel like making pizza dough for a video about making pizzas would, would kind of go in to that video making time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think you're taking away time from your videos if you're doing something for a video. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you want to do, put a little oil in the pan. Even if your pan is oiled, put a little bit in there anyway. Grab your pizza dough, slap it right in there. Spread it around, get your oil up on the sides and everything. Flip it over, get oil on that side too. Take a little plastic wrap or press and seal, whatever you got. All right, now that we're fully covered, let this set here and go preheat your oven to 500 degrees. All right, a couple questions for any bakers out there, because like I've said before, I, I know nothing about baking or like bread or doughs. First off, would proving a store-bought dough really do anything? I feel like no. And are you supposed to cover the dough in olive oil when you're proving it? I feel like that's also something you're not supposed to do, but I'm seriously asking, so uh, don't be too hard on me. Okay, oven's at 500 degrees. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna shape this dough to fit in here for a pizza so let's shape it like that now what we're gonna do is i uh, i feel like that might not be the best way to shape a pizza especially one with that thick of a dough i uh, i don't think that's gonna quite turn out right okay so i've already prepared my toppings i've got the cheese in the refrigerator because i don't want it to start melting under the studio lights as i'm filming and then i've got the basil i don't want that starting to shrivel either so that's in the refrigerator too. This puts off to the side. Let's prep our sauce. You can take regular tomato sauce. I got the kind, I got some sauce with chunks of tomato already in it. All right, Jackie, um, that's a bold word, prep. You're going to prep a store-bought sauce. I mean, it's prepped, Jack. It's in a bowl. That's that's all the prep you need. I have no idea what possessed this man to use the word prep because all of it's already done. That's why you bought it from the store. Okay, as you can see, Puffed up a little bit. Let's, uh, wow, that browned a little bit too. All right, so let's sauce this up. Let's get this pizza going. Grab your cheese. Pepperoni. Onions. Bell pepper. Bring out our basil leaf. I mean, I guess it's sort of like a personal pizza, so who cares? But those are definitely some large portions of toppings. I feel like it would do you good to cut them up, spread them out a bit more. You're going to take one bite from a slice, and the entire topping is going to come off the pizza. Wow. A little bit of the juice leaked into the side of the pan. I thought it was fun. Okay, what did I learn from this pizza? The basil burns. So we don't want that left on there. We don't use basil again in fresh form. All right, second thing, it's a cast iron pan. 
so I can cut in the cast iron pan. But look how much dough I've got. This is crazy. Well, I mean, not really, Jack. It's actually quite the opposite of crazy. It's it's just the amount of dough that you put in the pan. I don't know what you were expecting to happen in that oven. I don't know if you have a little guy in there who eats some of your ingredients sometimes, and that's why you go a little bit overboard. But no, generally the amount of dough you make a pizza with is the amount of dough that's going to be, you know, in the pizza. All right, this looks horrible. Look at this mess. It's not fully cooked. All right, so I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm doing a redo of this pizza. That's right, I'm not in the mood to fail today. So I'm going to empty this pan. I'm gonna go get another thing of dough and I'll be right back. Oh my God, it's... It's a birthday miracle! Has Jack finally admitted that he messed something up, that he didn't do something perfectly on the first try? And that he is not a perfect, flawless chef? Oh my god. Maybe there's hope for this world. Alright, so this is where I went wrong, right at this point. I've redone the dough. Uh, I just pressed down on this and it kept coming back in. Pressed down, it kept coming back in. I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to shape it. I'm gonna give it its structure first so that we can have a full pan pizza. That's where I messed up. I think I've got a better edge now going on. I mean, yeah, I'm sure doing the dough like this is better, but it doesn't really seem like you've covered that much more ground, to be honest. I think your problem with the dough is mainly how much you're using. You do not need this much dough for this size pizza. That looks way better, huh? Let's keep it going, we're on a roll. All right, so we're gonna sauce it up first. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have any mozzarella cheese, so we're going Mexi Blend. That's right, and I'm gonna do something a little different. All right, so that roll we were on for a moment there has come to a stop. Yeah, um, I feel like you maybe should have just got some mozzarella cheese when you went to go get the dough. From a person who's had to use Mexican Blend to cheese on a pizza before, I, uh, I would not recommend it. All right, that's it. Let's do this. Let's, oh, I'm forgetting the basil. Give a little sprinkle some basil. Let's get this back in the oven. For the 15 minutes, keep an eye on it. I think I pulled mine out a few minutes early. I'll give you the end time below, but let's nail this recipe. Come on, Jack. I thought this was a learning experience here. You just cooked a pizza that was undercooked and doughy, and you just admitted that you took it out too early, so you say you're gonna leave it in for the whole 15 minutes, and then you take it out after 10. That seems like a, like a silly move, not gonna lie. Look at that. Does that look better, huh? There it is. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. My goodness. Okay, that's a redo. All right, you ready? Yeah, that's about what I thought. Um, is it an improvement? Yes. I guess. But that pizza cutter went through that pizza like it was still raw dough. It does look better than the first one, but I bet it's still kind of raw, and it has Mexican blend cheese, so uh, there's only so many positives. This one right here. Beautiful. It came out good. Can you believe I did a redo right there on the spot? I'm telling you, this is gonna be burning hot. Hang on a minute. Mmm. Hot. Oh, hot. Mmm. So much better. Yeah, uh, so much is a generous phrasing there, but I will admit that it probably is better. But like I said, there's still a lot of problems with it. I think the main problem here is the amount of dough. There was a lot of dough used in the making of this pizza. Combine that with the Mexican blend of cheese, and I can't really imagine that this is too good. I mean, maybe if you like raw and goopy pizza, but if not, probably not for you. Well, guys, what do you think? Will you wish me a happy birthday, or are you not feeling it? Yeah, no, we're done with the Jack. We're back to my birthday. Um, you can leave your presents on the left. I'll go through them later. Thank you to everybody who sent me birthday wishes on Instagram and Twitter. It really does mean a lot. Love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.